The standard hydrogen electrode. I've never seen one. But I do know that you need one mole per decimeters cubed of hydrogen ions, uh, a platinum electrode, and 100 kilopascals of hydrogen gas. Notice how the gas bubbles are escaping from underneath that inverted tube. By definition, it has a standard electrode potential of zero volts, and the equilibrium setup takes the hydrogen gas, drops off some electrons onto that platinum electrode, and then those electrons go back to the H plus ions and regenerate the hydrogen gas. Why you'd use an incredibly explosive gas and an incredibly expensive metal in your standard, I don't know! Standard hydrogen electrode. Well, what is it you have to know? Uh, well, these four facts here. Uh, how are we going to try and mess you about? Well, uh, this bit here. What about if I had one mole per decimeters cubed of uh, methanoic acid? Well, that's a weak acid, and it's not going to dissociate to make the correct concentration. It's only going to dissociate... Oh, my scooter's charged. It's only going to dissociate about 1%. There's no way it's it going to make up to one mole per decimeter cubed. It's not going to work. Weak acids don't break up enough. Well, what else could we do? What about if I used sulfuric acid? One mole per decimeter cubed to that. No, 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 no. That's not going to work either. That's got two available protons there to drop off. So that's going to give me a concentration higher than one. So it's monoprotic strong acids. And the only two that you need to know is hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. Any other acid's not going to work. All right, so there is my slightly clumsily drawn standard hydrogen electrode. Here's the electrode potential series, electrochemical series from the new data booklet. What does all that mean? Well, let's have a little recap. I can see fluorine here, and I know that fluorine loves electrons. So the ones at the bottom love electrons, and the ones at the top, uh, those are metals, aren't they? I know that they hate electrons. I still think about it like this, uh, even after all these years. Let's choose uh, a lead hydrogen battery. So hydrogen's there. By definition, it has a zero standard electrode potential. So if I want to combine those two half cells, I'm going to need a lump of lead there. And I'm going to need to have uh, one mole per decimeters cubed of lead two plus ions there. Standard temperature. Alrighty, so let's just recap how to combine these. I know that the, the ones further up the list hate electrons. They want to get rid of electrons. So as this is written, electrons are not being gotten rid of. They're actually being uh, added. So, so this, this is wrong as written. I actually have to flip that one around, around. I tend to think of that as a flip the most negative. So flip the most negative one. So I'm going to reverse that half equation. So that gives me Pb solid goes to Pb2 plus Aq plus two electrons. Ah, yes, yes. Now it's hating electrons. It's getting rid of electrons. The value, well, I flipped it around. So I'm going to change the sign on that standard electro potential. And so the now it's going to be plus 0 0.13 volts. Hydrogen, well, that's towards the end that loves electrons. Mm -hmm. So it's going to want to grab electrons. Uh, as written, yeah, it is grabbing electrons. Look, it grabbed that one. So I can just transpose that one nearly identically. I'm going to have to uh, change the arrow. I know which way that equation's going now. And that's zero. What's the overall voltage? Well, just add those together to give me plus 0 0.13 volts. And if I want to work out the equation for the cell, then I'm going to need to do, uh, to get the electrons. They're on opposite sides, so I know that's going to work. If they're on the same side, something's gone wrong. Uh, I can see I've got two electrons, and I'm going to need two electrons here. I'm going to double this. I'm going to double that. Don't change this. I mean, I know doubling it won't change it, but uh, don't change that. Add these together to give me solid lead plus two H pluses is going to give me 
lead 2 plus ions and H2. So what does that mean? Well, I, I think probably there'll be more bubbles of gas coming out since I'm making more H2 here. That's a gas. Uh, and what's going to happen to my solid lump of lead in that half cell? Well, it looks like it turns into aqueous lead to ions. So that solid lump of lead is going to be slowly eaten away. It's going to be bitten away bit by bit. Oh, it completely disappeared. Oh, great. So it's going to be slowly eaten away. And when it's all gone, the battery's dead. Oxidation states, zero, plus one, plus two, zero. And so it looks to me that that goes there. Oxidation is last reduction is going. So that number's going up, so that's oxidation. And this number is going down. And that's gonna be reduction. Now we're thinking red cat, red cat, red cat, reduction at the cathode, reduction at the cathode. You must learn to draw a better cat. So what was the cathode reduction? So that's gonna be where the H plus is. So this is the cathode, reduction at the cathode, which is gonna make this side the anode. Alrighty. The negative electrode is the one that's vomiting off, that's throwing off all these electrons. Well, looking at these two equations, which one is throwing off all the electrons? That's the negative one. Yeah, the lead, look, it throws, throwing off two electrons here. So the lead is gonna be the negative electrode, and the cathode is gonna be the positive electrode here. Whew. Okay. And I think uh, we're done. Actually, I'm not done. I thought of another extra thing I could do. Let's talk about oxidizing and reducing agents. So, oxidizing agent is itself reduced. That's a little song I still sing to myself. An oxidizing agent is itself reduced. So what's reduced? It looks like the H plus is reduced. So the H plus is gonna be the oxidizing agent. I'm gonna put OA, you can't do that. You have to put oxidizing agent. And a reducing agent is itself oxidized. So what was oxidized here? It looks like that that was oxidized. I mean, that's what that ox means, doesn't it? So a reducing agent is itself oxidized. So the lead solid is the reducing agent. Okay, now I'm definitely done. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs>